Hello everyone, today we will discuss about different types of pulse present in different pathological conditions. Starting with the definition of pulse. What is pulse? Pulse is expansion and elongation of the vessel wall due to pressure changes in the heart during cardiac cycle. Now, we will discuss different types of pulse in different pathological conditions. One that is water hammer pulse which is also known as collapsing pulse. You can see here, this is water hammer pulse, this is normal pulse. Okay, here there is sudden upstroke, which is followed by sudden downstroke. You can see here. Okay, and this is best felt by rising hand of the patient. You can see here. Okay, and this is also known as Corrigan sign or Corrigan pulse. Okay, collapsing character of the pulse. That is because of regurgitation of the blood from aorta into the left ventricle. So commonly it is found in the aortic regurgitation. So aortic regurgitation that is the common cause for water hammer pulse. Other causes for water hammer pulse they are patent ductus arteriosus, arteriovenous fistula, okay, ventricular septal defect, ventricular septal defect. In case of hyperkinetic state like in thyrotoxicosis there is hyperkinetic circulation thyrotoxicosis severe anemia and beriberi all these three are condition in which there is hyperdynamic circulation in those conditions also will find this kind of collapsing pulse next is anacrotic pulse here you can see here this is anacrotic pulse in anacrotic pulse you found uh, two upstrokes you can see here there are two upstrokes mm -hmm, present in the this limb okay and that is present in the patient with aortic stenosis aortic stenosis and because of stenosis what happens there is slow ejection of blood from left left ventricle and therefore pulse is having slow volume small volume you can see here this is the normal volume. This is the volume of anacrotic pulse. Okay. This is also known as slow rising pulse. And peak is also delayed. You can see here. This is the peak of normal. And this you can see delayed peak found in the anacrotic pulse. Okay. As compared to normal one. This is another variety. Next is diacrotic pulse. This is also known as twice beating pulse. You can see here. This is diacrotic notch. It is found. This is normal situation but if the pulse is diacrotic you can see here two beats are there so twice beating pulse and diacrotic wave that is prominent you can see here in this diacrotic pulse diacrotic wave is prominent and that gives impression like two beats two beats are there okay one in the systole and other in the diastole okay this is seen in the febrile condition febrile states Especially in the typhoid fever and that is also present in the patient having low stroke volume. Having dilated cardiomyopathy also this is found dilated cardiomyopathy. Okay. So this is diacrotic pulse. Next is bisferens pulse. Here this is combination of anacrotic and collapsing. Both the varieties are found in bisferens pulse and this is present uh, in condition when there is aortic aortic stenosis and aortic regurgitation both are present you will find this variety of bisferens pulse okay next is pulses alterans alternate large and small pulses are found it is seen when left ventricle is severely damaged so what happens uh, like in myocardial infarction so what happens that uh, increase in the uh, end diastolic volume that results in large pulse which is followed by uh, that is ventricle which is not able to pump and that results in small pulse so you can see that strong and weak contractions they are found alternatively and that results in pulses alterans then pulses paradoxes here what happens pulse becomes small and it even disappears at the end of inspiration or deep breathing this is you can see during expiration you can see here the volume increases and during expiration it becomes small and sometimes it may disappear at the end of inspiration or deep breathing and why paradox paradox because heart sound may be present 
but pulse is absent so you can say that that is pulseless paradoxes and this is commonly seen if there is large pericardial effusion which is also known as cardiac tamponade also constructive pericarditis constructive pericarditis emphysema and massive pleural effusion pericardial or pleural effusion in both the condition you will find pulses paradoxes now certain conditions in which you found low volume pulse and high volume pulse so low volume pulse that is also known as pulses parvus and it is found in aortic stenosis pulmonary stenosis obstructive cardiomyopathy pericardial effusion and shock whereas pulses magnus that is high volume pulse which is found, which is found in fever anemia exercise hyperthyroidism and beriberi hyperkinetic circulation okay now next is slow rising pulse or it is also known as pulses parvus sometimes this is also known as pulses parvus at tardus parvus means weak pulse means peak is low and tardus means slow wide pulse you can see here okay so weak and wide pulse is found small weak wide pulse that is found it rises slowly and it falls slowly okay so it has a late systolic phase and it is seen in the condition with left ventricular stroke volume is reduced decrease in the left ventricular stroke volume as well as there is narrow pulse pressure and this is found commonly in aortic or mitral stenosis as well as in left ventricular failure and hypovolemia when volume decreases okay so this is all about different varieties of pulse thank you so much